my, what? What am I looking at? Now do you twist it? Oh, oh God, that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your girl, T. And I'm Monica. And today is all about red lips. It is a battle royale to find the best red lippy. We're gonna be testing them on opacity, skin tone, and staying power to see which one is worth your money. All right, let's clear this red lip off and start off with our drugstore price range lippy. First up, we have this liquid cat suit from Wet n Wild, $4.99. She read D. <laughs> I mean, $4.99 is a price point I can get behind. Wet and wild, take me back to seventh grade. Take me back to two weeks ago when I was at Target. <laughs> Feels very dry. I'm very aware that it's on my lips. It's not nearly as pigmented as it looks on the doe foot applicator. Mm -hmm. So if you're not a red lip wearer, don't be intimidated, I would say. I can see the actual color of my lips poking through it very obviously, so. It's not quite packing the punch that I would think it would when you look at it here in the tube. The punch was left at home on this one. So let's talk about our criteria. First up, we have pigmentation, yes or no? It's gonna be a no for me, it's a little too thin. I give it a eh on pigmentation. What do you think about skin tone? I like it. Just not my favorite. To quote T quoting Randy Jackson, it's gonna be a no for me, dog. And last but not least, the staying power test. Whoa. Pretty good. Nothing. I think more of my foundation came off than the lipstick. <laughs> this isn't going anywhere. Good on you, Wet n Wild. Up next, we have the Ruby Woo MAC lipstick, and this is a classic red, right? Good old Ruby Woo. Any makeup lover knows Ruby Woo. You don't even need to say the brand. I have never tried it. I can tell you already, I love this one. It's worth it. So this is $19. That's actually about what I would be okay with paying for a really good red. It's not as opaque as I thought it would be. I have scarred lips. Most of the time I don't care, but like if I'm covering them, I want to cover them. Yeah. So I feel like I'm always looking for a lipstick that can actually do that, and I thought Look, this full would. coverage. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with it, but we knew that was gonna be the case. <laughs> It's just such a classic red. Very blue base, which I love. Makes your teeth look really white. Yes. Almost nothing. I mean, I'm not oh, like smushing it in, but bit, yeah. maybe even less than the liquid lippy on this one for me. Yeah, I mean, this is a cream, so I feel like there's gonna be a little bit, but I was expecting more, so. Yeah. As much as I want to keep this on, we have another lippy to try, so let's move on. Now we have the Fenty Stunna Lip Paint, which is supposed to be like everyone's perfect red. This is the shade Uncensored, which was the first Fenty Stunna Lip Paint shade that came out. I've wanted to try this since it launched. Today's finally the day. But what took us so long? And clearly. I've just been sleeping on my Fenty. Where have we been? Literally asleep. But definitely pricey. Hopefully worth it. Come on, Riri, come through. I mean, I understand why it's called a paint. It's very thin. Shockingly opaque for how thin it is. I think that this is a much more true red, and I do think that it is quite flattering for a multitude of skin tones, I would say. I feel like my scars are sufficiently covered. I wanna just keep wearing this. This is what I came for. We got it, so let's go. So this is $25. Is that worth it? I gotta say, yeah. The color is perfect. I didn't have to re-dip once. I'm not gonna pretend it's not expensive, but it's so worth it. And the bottle is really nice. It looks like it's expensive. Not the most practical for throwing in your purse. No, it looks like like a diamond you stole or something. <laughs> Which is okay, unless you get pulled over. Very little. Not completely clean, but pretty good. Almost nothing. This was obviously amazing, but we're on to our next price point. More expensive. More expensive than $25. We were already getting steep there. This is probably gonna hurt. Next up, we have Pat McGrath Labs with the famous matte trance lipstick. 40 American dollars for one. That's one lipstick, $40. Oh no. I feel like 100 years from now, one of these boxes is going to be in the MoMA as a piece of art. The shade we have is matte trance number 13 called Elson. I don't know if I've ever seen a lipstick look so matte in the tube itself. It looks like a piece of red chalk. If this lipstick could talk, I would have thought it would have said <laughs> She looked parched. As soon as I put it on my lips, it just started to melt in. Color me impressed. You're so right. It like starts melting as you use it. Like it soften up with the warmth of your own body. Oh, Very yeah. comfortable now that it's on the lips. This is a little adjustment period, like your first yeah. week of college when you're like, should I be here? Probably not. It's really nice and opaque. I feel like it's vibrant without being too aggressive or in your face. I could still wear this to the bank. I need to go make some deals. 
give me that alone. Just kidding, I don't need it because I'm rich. I, I got a $40 lipstick. <laughs> I feel like this one leans a bit more blue again. I'm always a little afraid of red anyway because it just feels so bright to me. But this one is leaning a little cool, which I think is more wearable. Probably one of the more noticeable transfers we've had so far, but it still looks great on both of us, I think. I agree, this is a lot of color left behind. It's a regular classic bullet lipstick. This doesn't bother me, but $40 is really asking a lot. I feel like Fenty right now is me, and Pat McGrath is my cool grandma who's like, leave your husband, you don't need him. One more round of abuse for our pouts as we take this off to try our last contender. And it's expensive. Last but not least, from the brand that brought you red bottoms, we have the Christian Louboutin Red Lipstick, $90. I have too many student loans to even be touching this right now. That's more than my phone bill. Oh my, oh. what? What am I looking at? Looks less like a lipstick and more like something that might be used for adult fun. And it even comes what? with a little... <laughs> Organza sachet, a little koozie for your butt plug. I mean, lipstick. This looks exactly like the Pat McGrath. <gasps> We've seen this before! Holy grandma, Batman. This smells like old ladies. Okay, if we're Fenty, Pat McGrath is actually our mom, who's like, you have to marry a man for his money. And then this is your grandma, who has so much money, and she's seen out and forgot where the paperwork for your inheritance is. The application reminds me of the Pat McGrath. It does feel the same. It smells worse <laughs> and you're paying for all the random bits and pieces that come with it. Like this, you're paying $50 more for this. I will continue to put it on though. <laughs> In terms of opacity, it is pretty rich, but at what cost? $90. Hey. Pretty middle of the road. Oh yeah, it's about the same as the Pat McGrath, honestly. All right, Monica, by some miracle, we still have lips on our face, despite all the swatches we did today. Let's kick things off with the first one, Wet n Wild 499 Liquid Cat Suit. What mm -hmm. do we think? I actually use this brand of lipstick, but in much darker shades, and they're great. But I don't think this one is for me, specifically because of the shade. I would recommend one that's a, like a Revlon or a Maybelline that's like $8 and has more, I think, color payout. What do you think? I think for $4.99, that's a great price point, but what you're missing out on is pigmentation because pretty much everything that comes after it that we tried today had way more opacity. Up next, we have the MAC Ruby Woo Lipstick for $19. It's a classic. What did you think? I already knew I loved Ruby Woo. You can't go wrong with a MAC lipstick and you can't go wrong with Ruby Woo. I feel like there are other lipsticks I use in a similar price family that just work a little bit better for me in terms of opacity and pigmentation. Next up, we had the original shade of the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Uncensored, 25 bucks. What do you think? That's gonna be a win for me. I loved how thin it went on, but it was still so thick and rich and opaque in color. Oh my God, I could keep talking about it. I have to agree, 25 is a bit steep, but so well worth the wait. I don't know why I waited so long to try this, probably because it was 25 bucks, I guess. I love the shade, I love the intensity of color, and I also love the formula. All right, now we have Mother's very own Pat McGrath lipstick for $40. I think it's a great lipstick. I think $40 is just too rich for my blood. It did feel luxurious. It felt fancy, but I just don't need to spend $40 for that. The real question is, do you need to spend $90? We have the Louboutin red lipstick on still. What do you think? If I go to a party at a fancy person's house and I find one on the floor, I am gonna take it, but I'm not gonna spend $90 on it. Not only are you sacrificing the unnecessary money that it costs, but it smells like dead grandmas. It is 100% a flex to pull this out of your handbag because it's unnecessary. What is your number one pick of the day? Well, it's been a bloodbath, because it's red, but I think my favorite is gonna be the Fenty Senna lip paint. I didn't feel cheesy or clownish wearing it, and it went on really well. It was a close second for me. I really love this. I was shocked by how much I loved it, but my personal favorite, I gotta stick with the MAC Ruby Woo. There's just something I love about a classic lipstick in a bullet rather than having to fuss with a liquid matte, and I also like that it's a couple bucks cheaper. That is gonna do it for us today. I'm T. And I'm Monica. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave us a comment about like the most you would spend on a red lip, $5 or more than $90.